What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back today with another 412 build video for you guys. Today we are going to be talking about the spoiler that we built for this car. When it came to conceptualizing this project and talking about, you know, the things that we loved about the 412 as well as about other Ferraris from the time period, of course the visuals of the car, the style, the body lines were our favorite part and the part of course we wanted to keep the most. However, we felt, especially with the 412, that this car, especially in the back end, needed something to give this car a little bit more flavor, a little more spice to the car, and uh, you know, kind of match the, the aggression of the 812 engine that we were adding to the car. And we decided that a ducktail style rear spoiler could be the perfect thing to add to the back end of this car to give it enough style and flair that made us really excited about the way the car looked. Of course, again, we looked at what Ferrari had done. You know, there was a number of Ferraris that had ducktail style spoilers at the back of their car. For example, this is a Ferrari 308. And you can see here that this car has a ducktail style spoiler right here that is also built into the fender as well. And we really like this style. This styling design was accentuated even more in the Ferrari 288 GTO which really inspired our design for this car. We had a graphic designer that we had been working with in the past do a mock-up that I'll show you guys now. And then of course we set about building one for ourselves. Let's get right to it. So the first thing that Martin did was build a cardboard template of the wing design. That way both Steve, myself, and Martin, of course, could all take a look at it on the car and have a visual of what we were really aiming for. With that complete, Martin went about building a plywood-based wing design to really accentuate what it would look like. Now you can see our model is definitely bigger than what you would see on a Ferrari 288 GTO, but we felt like we needed something that really brought your attention to the back of the car and showed you know, how much more aggressive this car would be than the standard version of the 412 or even than a 288 GTO. We actually took a bit of inspiration from the Lancia 037, uh, which is one of our favorite cars and one of the best cars as far as a ducktail spoiler goes. So we definitely took a bit of inspiration from that. So with the wood model now complete, uh, Martin was going to be moving on to building an actual steel version of it that would then be welded to the car. When I started sanding the car, we quickly realized how much lead they used for body work back in the day. So I had to sand through quite a bit. Um, right here you can see how much uh, lead was built. Um, yeah, all that had to be grounded all the way to the bare metal so I can uh, you know, get a good connection with welds and
After attacking the whole entire wing, uh, took it off the car and welded the inside all the way, uh, which warped it quite a bit. But I was able to hammer it and, you know, use a little bit of bodywork trick to get it in shape. So to create the proper strength to be able to drive this car at speed, Martin went ahead and welded the inside, which you can see here, creates a much thicker profile so that the wing is a lot stronger so that when you're going, you know, 180 miles an hour, you're not going to have deflections that causes cracks that you would see in a, a thinner piece here if it wasn't welded on the inside. By the time I welded all the inside seams of this wing and fully welding it onto the car, this five feet span of sheet metal worked quite a bit. So my job was to take down all the high spots and get the basic shape um, sanded and smoothed out so that later on when we hand this car off to the body shop, they can uh, do a very minimum amount of body work with Bondo. So with that, Martin has finished up the wing. What do you guys think of it? I think this wing looks really awesome. Martin did a great job of executing everything that we had talked about. Uh, I think it really adds to the style of this car, especially with the pop-up lights, you know, having that kind of double angle on the front and back of the car. I think it's gonna look really cool once everything is painted, all the bodywork is done. I think it's gonna look absolutely epic. What do you guys think? So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a bunch of 412 videos still to come. So stay tuned for those.